Hey, what's going on, Blazers Uprise Nation? This is Tori, and I figured it was about time that I got out a video talking about our brand new court, talking about our new schedule for next season, as well as the possibility of brand new jerseys. I was out of town when all the stuff dropped, so I couldn't immediately make a video on it, and lately I've been working really hard on a lot of stuff that you guys won't see until September, but let me just say, I'm very excited for some of the stuff coming up for this platform next month. So first off, we're going to start off with the schedule that was announced for next season. Now, I'm not going to go deep into this in this video because I do have a full schedule breakdown that will be coming out at some point in the next week. It'll be the most in-depth breakdown that you'll be able to find anywhere on the internet for your Portland Trailblazers, so I really look forward to putting that out. The second thing was the new court design which got announced, and this is more of a retro look. You have the white paint with the red semicircle up top, you have the red perimeter on the outside, and then you have the classic lowercase Portland Trail Blazers font on each baseline, and a lot of people like this court. I'd say about 95% of the fan base is ecstatic for this court, but I'm going to be honest, I'm in that 5% which doesn't really like this court. Now, there's a couple reasons why I don't like this court. First off, I'm young, I'm only 23 years old, so this type of styling for an NBA court doesn't hold any nostalgic feelings for me. I don't have any nostalgia for a court like this. So my opinion is just based off pure aesthetic, and aesthetically, I'm not a huge fan of this court. Actually, I should rephrase that. I'm not a huge fan of this court being our full-time court next season. I think this court would be perfect on a part-time basis, kind of like an alternate court. Utah has that red and orange and yellow sunrise looking alternate court that they use here and there. Miami has that Miami Knights or whatever it's called. They have their alternate court. I think this would be great as an alternate court, maybe every five games or so. Maybe you could do it every game that's at home on a weekend night on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night. And I think it would be really cool to have like a 1970s night and bring back jerseys from the 1970s just for that night. And then a 19 1977 night and I think it'd be cool to have specified nights for different eras in the Portland Trailblazers history and use that court only on those special nights. Having a unique one-time throwback jersey for each of those nights would be really cool as well. But they're electing to go with this retro looking court full time and I think the freshness and the novelty of it will be worn off by the end of the season. By the 35th or the 40th time we use this court, it's not going to hold that special feeling anymore more because people will get used to it and in my opinion the more you get used to something the less nostalgic feeling you have so it'd be cool to only have this on an alternate time basis so that it remained fresh so that when it was used it felt even more special because it'd be a special occasion you know once out of every five games or so and then it would retain its novelty and its nostalgic feeling throughout the end of the season so that's why i'm not a fan of this court also just the mid-court logo is too minimalistic for me uh, the white paint does look a little weird i don't really like the way the red perimeter around the court looks aesthetically but i would be completely fine with this court if they weren't using it full time and we're using it on a special occasion so the last topic we have in this short little video is there's rumors about the portland trailblazers electing to go with some sort of full-time retro throwback look and that would be a complement to the full-time retro look court and again I think the novelty would wear off a bit on those jerseys as well all the same points I made for the court could apply to our jerseys if we elected to go with a full-time throwback look I really hope we don't elect to do that I hope that we break out special throwback uniforms on different nights from different types of eras they didn't get that right with the court in my opinion but hopefully they get it right with the jerseys and we're able to have some jerseys that are dedicated to different eras but not necessarily something that's completely full time. I honestly think we had the freshest court and the nicest jerseys in the league last year so I don't think that this 50th anniversary should be at the expense of completely giving those up for a year so that's why I want to see them mixed in. So anyway that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Tori. I'll see you later. Peace out. Go Blazers.